Hey everyone, how are you? It's me, Dottie Mae. It is Sunday, the 18th of April. Can you believe it? We're nearing the end of the month already. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. And next month, May, I turn 50. Oh, good Lord. And I am slowly falling apart, it seems, feels like. Um, also, at the very end of May, 1st of June, will be one year that I have lived in the place I'm living. One year already, that is crazy. So, I'm sitting at the park here and um, maybe gonna do a little bit of drawing. I think I've shown, ouch. I've shown this little kit to you guys before. Um, it's got colored pencils in it and paper. I started a drawing yesterday and I'm trying to get it better. I kind of, I don't know. It's a bird, that's all I'm gonna say. And right now it's rough sketched. I need to fix the wing, but somebody just pulled up next to me. I'm at the park, Riverside Park, by the river. <laughs> Hence the name. So anyway, <laughs> sorry, squirrel, actually ducks. <laughs> Um, so yesterday was a big day, April 17th. It is the day my daughter, my oldest daughter got married. And as you know, I was having some anxiety about seeing my ex and his fiance. Um, seeing my, my ex by himself wouldn't have been a big deal, but I had no interest in seeing the fiance. So anyway, oh, and I wore a dress, you guys. This girl, I don't ever wear dresses. I hate dresses and I hate tights and pantyhose, but I wore a dress and I wore tights and I, apparently I looked pretty good. I got a lot of compliments on my attire um but the shoes that i had picked out didn't fit great they kept sliding or slipping off my heels and they hurt my feet i wear tennis shoes all the time that's what i wear so something other than tennis shoes and it sucks but anyway i did take an anti or a little, little, little sorry an anxiety medication um pill before I went about an hour before um just because I just wanted to be safe I didn't want to risk having a trigger or whatever and getting bad so even though I wasn't feeling tons of anxiety at that point I still took it because I wanted to be safe um but I got there and <laughs> um, it was nice. I sat with my daughter, Kara, and her girlfriend and her girlfriend's two kids, um, whom I claim as grandchildren. So I have two little granddaughters, ages one and three. And I will say, that I am so glad that I had Kara and Ashley there because, um, and the girls, because I do believe that they were a big part in helping to keep me grounded and feeling safe, I guess. I don't know. Um, obviously there was no way I could avoid seeing that woman. So I did see her 
and I'm gonna tell you guys something. I'm gonna make a confession about some thoughts that ran through my mind and I've apologized to the universe, to God for feeling that way, for thinking that way, but I kind of think that it helped me cope with the situation. And that is when I saw her, my thoughts were, oh my gosh, she's a lot bigger than me. She's, she's not very nice looking and she's older than me too. So yeah, he downgraded. <laughs> I am so sorry, but that's the thoughts that ran through my mind and in a sick way or in a weird way, whatever, it kind of helped me cope. It kind of helped me feel like I wasn't the reason he left. Time, There's times when I feel really down on myself and I beat myself up and I blame myself for the whole situation. Um, even though he's the one that chose to cheat. You know, and relationships take two. So I'm not saying I didn't have any involvement because obviously I wasn't altogether there. I will admit that I was not there sexually in the end of our marriage um, and in other parts of our marriage. My depression got the better of me and I had no interest in sex. So maybe that's why he chose to step out. I don't know. I have no idea. But that's, it's in the past. And I think considering everything, I did really well yesterday. I didn't, um, I had a little bit of tears when Kaylee was walking down the aisle and, you know, doing their vows and whatnot. Um, but my daughter made a beautiful bride. I had compliments saying she looked just like me. So that makes me feel good too. Um, I had picture taken with her, had picture taken with her and John, and then her, John, and my ex. So I did okay. I I enjoyed myself the best I could. I did not dance or anything. I didn't have anyone to dance with and my feet hurt anyway. So all in all, I did fine, but I did leave when my daughter Kara and Ashley left. When they chose to leave, I decided it was time for me to leave too because you know, Kaylee and John were busy with everyone and it's not like I could, you know, cling to her side. And she's kind of more of a daddy's girl I've noticed lately. They do a lot of things with them. So anyway, anyway, considering everything, I did well. I feel bad for thinking the awful negative thoughts about the, about her, um, but it did help me cope as sick as that is I don't know so something else too you guys know I've been dealing with terrible terrible foot pain and it's it's um, gotten up to my knees and my knees hurt all the time and so I couldn't do my job adequately being on my feet all the time. It just wasn't working. I could not stand on my feet so much. So I've decided that I'm going to look into schooling again. Um, when I was let go back in 2017 from the job I had um, because of everything through a place called Michigan Works. They'll pay 
for two years of schooling. So I'm looking into that as an option. Um, if I can get a two year degree in something, which I'm not sure what yet, maybe web design or maybe something computer related so I can get a job that I'm not on my feet all the time. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm collecting unemployment at the moment and hopefully that will continue for the 30 weeks that they told me I had. And in the meantime, I will be, um, like I said, checking out school options um, and checking out maybe placement agencies that can help find a job that I'm not on my feet constantly. Um, so it was a tough decision, but so much pain, you guys, it's just brutal and it sucks because I can hardly walk. And especially like when I try to get out of bed in the morning and put pressure on my feet, it's, it is terrible. And I do take ibuprofen 800, but it doesn't really help much. I take, or I put like biofreeze and things like that on my feet at night. I elevate them, but I have the two toes, one on each foot that are swollen and red and it just sucks. I am going to the podiatrist this week, so hopefully I can, you know, hopefully he has some answers and I can start to feel better. Anyway, that is it guys. Thanks for listening. Thanks for being there, supporting, and I really appreciate it. And I'm gonna go now. Peace and love, bye.